20 turn, 130 Rush amp, brushless ESC, 777 7, 7, 7, Reef Serum, Highway Pro 1, Steel Wheel, made build. Lex Ambi, Frank, The Tank, Dual RC Frame Rail, Mudslinger Tired. Welcome back to the workshop here at Tandem C Television Studios, and we're continuing work on Willie's Bar and Grill, what is, which has is turned into just a massive scale building uh, that we're working on for a series coming up here on the channel. We also got something in the mail this week that I really want to share with you guys. Uh, and before we continue, also I want to apologize. The scale, the, the 3D printer is actually running over to my left over here. Hopefully it's not too loud. I hope the mic here on the camera is not uh, picking up too much. But anyways, let's take a look at what we've got done here on Willie's Bar and Grill. And the first thing that I was able to do, the acrylic for what's going to be this front rail. I ho hopefully you guys can see it. Obviously it's clear. We got a, a front railing here uh, that's supposed to mimic glass. So again, this is going to be a balcony out front of Willie's Bar and Grill. What's back here is going to be a dance club. So down below here is the actual bar and grill. Up above is going to be a dance club because, again, this is an apocalyptic world. We really want to show this kind of cyberpunk, apocalyptic type world. So I want a bunch of bright lights flashing out of there, loud music, that kind of thing. This is also what I think I've decided. This is going to be... So the guys from the shop, the guys from uh, Creepy Crawler's Garage, this is where they hang out. It's where they come get their drinks, their food, whatnot. Uh, up above at this kind of techno-style dance club, this is where the outsiders stay, or where they, not where they stay, but where they hang out, where they congregate. Kind of like, uh, I think the idea what I want to do is just have uh, this dance club with uh, booth style seating, you know, where they sit in kind of like um, if you've seen the Kingpin or uh, in, in Daredevil or a, a setting like that, where it's just bright flashing lights, a little bit of smoke and dark. Um, and then, of course, the bad guys, the outsiders are hanging out, making their deals, uh, doing what they do. That's what's going to be here. But now what we've also really been working on up top here. Um, is this more detail up on the, I, I don't know what you even call this on a building. I guess it's kind of the crown of the building. So I'm building in some detail up here. I decided to use, uh, to put in um, some windows up top here. I think that'll add a good detail. I actually have some of these windows on hand. I don't think I have quite enough, um, but I, I, can, I can get more. These are easy to get. Uh, speaking of windows, I did get notification today that uh, the windows for down below here, the bigger um double windows that are going to be going in here they actually shipped out today so i should be getting those hopefully pretty soon uh speaking of shipments also i have wire that's coming in uh today i, I actually ordered at amazon same day um so because these posts i don't just as a reminder these posts on this front uh are on this railing uh they actually have red leds in them and the posts are hollow and they when the leds light up they actually light up the the acrylic or the glass here um which was the whole point i wanted this to to glow red out front so i got i have wire coming in so that i can connect all of these leds together their, their leads are pretty short so i need to connect them all together and in fact that reminds me uh, i forgot I've, i haven't shown you guys the back side of willie's bar girl what it looks like on the back side kind of behind the scenes so speaking of those wires let's let's head behind and we'll take a look i can kind of show you what's going on back there now i've gone ahead and moved around to the back side of willie's bar and grill here and as you can see it's actually very open so here's the different floors on the back side of the building um, this is the dance floor level here. So straight out that way is the balcony uh, where Frank and some of the characters have been standing in the recent videos. Um, this is all going to end up being acrylic or glass. It's going to be a very glass front with a glass door. Uh, same with this side over here. And then down below, this is actually the back side of Willie's Bar and Grill. And you can see all the all the lighting and wiring that's uh, that's going on back here. Uh, also, I need to rehinge these doors. They're, they've, they're moving this around so much while working on it, they've actually got uh, busted up a little bit, but that's easy fix, no problem. Now, the wires that I was talking about coming from the pillars up above, part of the railings up above, you can see all of these little wires hanging here. Let me see if I can reach them. Each one has, I need to tie all those together. You can see them there, there, there. They're all coming down. And then for right now, I've got some battery packs um, that I can use to power them. So at least we can see what they look like. But in the future, these are all going to run uh, to, to AC power to the wall. Um, I think that's going to be a better way to do it where they can, I, I'll just actually run them uh, to be able to plug into the wall. And then I can put them on a switch uh, to turn, turn everything on and off instead of having a bunch of these battery packs but for now this works uh you can also see the back side of the willies uh the willies signs uh this is all the ex excess uh 
tube, tube lighting. I, I can't remember what you actually call this, but what we're using to look like neon tubing. So you can see this is the, the source for that. Um, there's the Arguano um, that's running Willie himself, making him turn right there. This is the post for the music sign that's out there. You can see it's actually a hollow tube. Um, I'm thinking, I have multiple channels on this Arguano. I'm thinking about, it might not be an easy thing to do, but what I'd almost like to do is run some lights down the outside, just single individual LEDs down the outside of the music uh, sign. Uh, in fact, I'll put up a, a picture of the music sign and try to describe it. Um, maybe I'll try to Photoshop something to kind of describe what I'm talking about. Um, but I, I, off a second channel on this Arguano, I could actually control those lights to kind of to run down. In fact, let me see. I'll try to find uh, an example I can show you guys of, of what I'm talking about. But that, because that tube is hollow, I could run the wiring down through the tube and then into the sign and then into those LEDs. Take a little bit of work, but I thought that would be pretty kind of a neat thing to have going where you have running lights on on the sign out there too. Um, and then something I didn't mention either, in fact I'll show a picture of it on the other side, but this is the base plate for actually a little camera that's right here, a little uh, security camera that actually works. It's a it's a little working camera that we're going to be able to use at the door um, for, for filming also, but that's the, ba the back plate for that and it just runs on battery so that's super simple. Um, and then this, what you see right here, this is the servo that's actually in Willie's head. So the Arguano is controlling that servo and making it go back and forth, which is what's turning his head. Um, but anyways, you can see what the back side of this looks like. It's just open and hollow. And I'm going to leave, I want it that way. So we are going to actually um, build out the walls um, and put in some furniture and all this kind of stuff. So if you look in through the windows, there will actually be an interior or a false interior. The actual sets, these actual interior sets, will actually be done on on other builds that we make or sound stages, you would call it. Um, there'll be a, a, a separate set that we'll use to actually mimic the interiors, along with the dance club um, and along with the different floors here. But again, like I said, we will build these out, so there will be um, some some tables and things, just so when you look in the glass, it actually there there looks like there's an interior here. And then what I think I'll do is I'll build some back plates. Uh, these back plates will probably just have a print kind of of the of the room itself on it and then I'll use magnets or some I'm thinking probably magnets to hold it in, <clears throat> excuse me to hold it in place to make it real easy to get off so I can move stuff around in here and then just magnet you use magnets to put it right back on that's kind of the idea I'm having as far as uh, the interiors in here but now I think this is about where we're at so far with uh, Willie's Bar and Grill I did we did get like I said we did get something in the mail this week which kind of surprised me so I think what we'll do we'll move back over to Studio B where I have a table over there in Studio B we can use uh, and I'll show you what came in the mail this week but before we head over to Studio B I did want to mention due to the amount of work left to do on the scale, the scale city that we're building for CCG 2084, I think we're going to need definitely some help in getting this done because progress is just too slow right now. So I am going to have to get Frank on the job. Frank's going to have to get to work. Um, I got a great comment last week telling me that I needed to get Frank to work. Um, so I think that's what we're going to do. And what I'll be able to do uh, with that is I can film Frank's work and actually put that over on Frank's channel. I don't know how many of you guys know uh, that Frank has his own channel. It's actually a, just a channel uh, a channel of YouTube Shorts. Uh, in fact, you can find his channel down in the description. But I think what I'll do is I'll, the work that he does here, that, that the, the work that he helps out with, I'll put over on his channel. And then of course, I'll also be able to uh, put some parts of that here in the updates coming up. But I do want you to let you know that because there's so much work left to do, gotta get Frank on the job, gotta get him working. Might as well film it and put it over on his channel. So make sure and check the description. Go check out his channel also. All right, now we're over in Studio B. I want to show you guys what came in the mail this week. So I had been reached out to by Fern Solo, Solo, and he said, Hey, Tandem, I've got a box of Lost and Found here at my place. Um, nothing to do with it. I thought I'd send it over to you so you can use it with CCG 2084 and the stuff you're doing on the series there. And I, I, I can't... Thank you enough, Fern. Thanks so much for sending this stuff over. Uh, it's really amazing what you sent. So I wanted to share you guys with what uh, what he sent over. And, and the first thing I found in the box that he sent um, was basically a, a, a little six-volt battery, a small motor, and an ESC, which this is actually perfect. This is great. With the builds we're doing for CCG, uh, CCG 2084, uh, a lot of like remote vehicles and camera vehicles and this kind of stuff, this is going to come in big use. Uh, this micro stuff will be very helpful, especially the small batteries where I'm trying to hide batteries places. Um, this is actually very, very useful for me. So I really thank you. Also, there was another box 
uh, that came with it, which had a, a full-size motor in ESC, which again, this is going to be very useful with all the vehicles that we're building for the series. I can always use these, even if they're just for spares, I can always use more motors and ESCs uh, to keep the things running uh, for the series. So again, thank you for that. Uh, and then also he sent over some scale items. And now this is the best stuff. Well, it's all actually great stuff, but this is really good uh, for the CCG 2084 series because I need just tons of scale stuff that's kind of laying around, laying around in the shop, laying around on the streets, that kind of stuff. So I've got, he sent over a, uh, a little tool, a little tool set, which is a pickaxe and a sledgehammer. This is really cool. We'll, we'll probably end up repainting these and uh, maybe I'll show you how I repaint this stuff, make it look really good. Same with uh, the jerry cans and the ammo boxes and that kind of stuff. There's even a, a little MRE in here, which is kind of cool, but we can repaint all this stuff and make it look really good um, for the series. And this, this, this stuff is, is, I mean, it's a godsend to me. I, I can't thank you enough, Fern. This really, it really does help out. Now we also sent over uh, a set of tires um, which I just can't have enough tires, uh, especially when we start building the garage for CCG 2084, the, actually, the actual Creepy Crawlers garage. Um, I love having tires kind of laying around, stacks of tires, because that's what you see in a garage. Um, so this stuff really helps. Plus, these look like pretty much brand new tires. I can probably use them on one of the builds. Um, so this, again, I can't thank you enough. Um, and then not only did he send over one set of tires, but he actually sent over two set of tires. The only difference is this set of tires... It's actually attached to a full vehicle. So he sent a whole truck over. Um, this, I was absolutely, when he told me he was sending over his lost and found box, I was absolutely not expecting to get an entire vehicle, uh, suspension, motor, uh, everything basically for an entire vehicle, which this is definitely invaluable. Um, we've got uh, we've got multiple bills that we've got to get done where I need essentially running chassis to put bodies on. This is definitely going to get used. I, thank you so much. Um, I, 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 again, I just can't say thanks enough. Guys, if you haven't checked out Fern Solo's channel already, make sure and get over and check out Fern's, uh, Fern's channel. Um, in fact, I just sent his D90. Well, I didn't just send it. I sent his D90 back a few days ago. He should probably have it by now, I think. So I have a feeling we're going to see that D90 with the scale motor build we did on his channel pretty soon. So make sure, get over his channel, give it a look, give it a subscribe so you can see that over on his channel. Um, thank you so much, Fern. I, I, I just, I can't tell you how much I, I appreciate this. Guys, hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help out. Hit the like button. That's what's really helping out apparently uh, in the YouTube, al YouTube algorithms right now is hitting that like button. Do that for me. It's free. Uh, hitting that subscribe button is free. If you, if, you, if you look down and that subscribe button's red, hit it. Um, that means you're not subscribed. You won't be getting, no you won't be notified on the next videos that come out. Um, leave me those comments down below. Uh, let me know what you think about what's going on so far. Uh, give a big thank you to Fern Solo down there in the comments. Uh, I I'm sure he'd really appreciate it. Um, and let's see. Uh, the next time you're out walking your dog, just like I was the other day, and you're walking down the sidewalk and that car comes by, jump out in the street, stop him, say, hey, check this out on my phone. It's Tandem C Television Studios. You, su you should subscribe too. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.